Coming up next, Book TV presents Afterwards, an hour-long interview program where we invite a guest host to interview the author of a new book. This week, from City Lights Books in San Francisco, Mark Rudd talks about his memoir, Underground, My Life with SDS and the Weathermen. Mr. Rudd recounts his role as the chairman of the Columbia chapter of Students for a Democratic Society, the organization's occupation of Columbia University in 1968, and his time spent as a member of the Weather Underground. Mark Rudd discusses his book with essayist, novelist, poet, and playwright Ishmael Reed, the author of numerous books, including Mixing It Up and Pow Wow. Following the interview, Mark Rudd takes questions from the audience at City Lights. This program contains language that some may find offensive. I really uh, found your book fascinating. It was uh, hard to put down. I was wondering what Mark Rudd was going to do now. He's in this situation, how are you going to get yourself out of it? Uh, but uh, you know, among the characters in the book, I found that your folks were re really likable. Uh, why don't you give us uh, the, the background of your, your, your parents? Well, it, 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 it's, over the course of the four years that I was writing, my parents emerged. <laughs> they, uh, although they had always been there, but um, um, they, um, I found that uh, whenever I was writing about them, they had the funniest lines. Mm -hmm. and, uh, they, like, like, for example? You know, well, you know, I, there was this, um, um, I, I talked about uh, a, um, uh, uh, a showing of the Weather Underground movie mm -hmm. uh, in, in 2004 mm -hmm. when um, um, uh, uh, it, it was in a Jewish community center in... Um, the movie's called Underground. Is that uh, right? uh, excuse me, The Weather Underground, Weather Underground. Uh, was the name of the movie, mm -hmm. um, made by Sam Green and... Uh, Bill Siegel, 2003. Uh, it was shown in uh, a, a Jewish community center in um, West Orange, New Jersey, actually their community near, near where I grew up. And um, uh, my mom uh, was in the audience, uh, and it was about 400 of her old cronies mm -hmm. there, uh, 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 representing 50 years in the community. Mm -hmm. And um, during the question and answer period, I was answering someone's question, and um, my mother, um, uh, suddenly interrupted what I was saying and said, I got a question, I got a question. Mm -hmm. and, and I said, uh, Ma, okay, wh what's your question? And she said, I've been waiting 30 years to ask you this. I said, well, what is it? And she said, how could you do this to me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I was going to ask that. You know, <laughs> uh, seriously, at one point your, your dad uh, you connected his having a series of strokes to the days of rage and his concerns uh, about you? You know, I actually had forgotten about that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But my mother uh, gave me her diary. Mm -hmm. On the cover is written, it's a, it's a marble, a black and white marble mm -hmm. composition notebook, mm -hmm. and where it says name, composition, name, she wrote, The Tormented Mind of Mark Rudd's Mother. Mm -hmm. It's the title of the diary. So I'm, I'm reading this diary, and suddenly I'm reminded of something that I had eliminated from my memory. My father had a series of temporary strokes right after the Days of Rage, the, the, this event in, in October 69, uh, which was very frightening. And, 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 and I had, I had, he had actually went into the hospital. With this, and, and I didn't. I, I, it, it, I mean, obviously, the diary was was a, was a godsend to me because I was able to write about that mm -hmm. and, to, and to recall it. Your, uh, I love your mother. She says that uh, she described uh, Kafka as a machinist. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I, I tell a story at the beginning, uh, actually, in the first few pages of the first mm -hmm. chapter, mm -hmm. about uh, um, uh, coming to uh, Columbia University as a freshman, and. And kind of not knowing what I was doing, and I, 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 I went to the counseling service, and, and they, they diagnosed the problem as something called freshman identity crisis, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which I, apparently that's a common thing. I, I don't know if it still exists, but um, the um, I think there's a lot of drinking to counseling. Yeah, right. But I didn't drink. That's all I care. Yeah, 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 maybe. But um, um, so they they suggested I go see a shrink. Mm -hmm. So I told my mother and father, I want to go see a shrink, and nobody in my family had ever seen a shrink before. And, and my mother said, well, you're... Dr. Uh, Lieber. 
Uh, Dr. Robert Liebert. Yeah. There's a whole story about Liebert, right? Yeah. right. Um, my mother says, well, there's nothing wrong with you. You've, you've been reading too much of that Meshuggah Kafka and that stupid Dostoevsky. <laughs> uh, you talk about the racist uh, attitudes of members of your parents' generation. Uh, they're calling blacks or Schwarzen, which is like a Yiddish N-word. Well, and, and, and was this widespread? Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. absolutely. It, 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 is, it, is, it is the suburbs, the Jewish mm -hmm. suburbs. Remember, I grew up um, uh, on, uh, on the border of Newark. Mm -hmm. uh, my, I describe this in the book. Mm -hmm. My family was among the 100,000 mm -hmm. Jews of Newark mm -hmm. who fled the black influx. Um, 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 this is the... The Italians and the Jews were the last to leave Newark. Yes, yes, yes. The Italians were memorialized by the Sopranos. Yeah, right. Uh, the, the, Ita the Italians went up um, Bloomfield Avenue mm -hmm. uh, toward the northwest, mm -hmm. and the Jews went out um, uh, Springfield Avenue toward the west, mm -hmm. uh, Maplewood. And, and um, this is the milieu that um, uh, uh, Philip Roth writes about. Mm -hmm. uh, and um, um, it, it, the entire time was the antagonism between the blacks and the Jews. Mm -hmm. And the word schwarze, uh, which means black, literally, in, in Yiddish, uh, is, is, was used all the time uh, with the connot same connotation as nigger. Mm -hmm. same. You know, there, but, but actually, you know, many people believe that the Jewish Black Alliance began in the 60s. Oh, absolutely. It actually began in terms of last century as both were protesting police brutality because the Irish cops were going around beating up people who look Jewish. <laughs> and uh, out of this uh, uh, alliance between the Jews and blacks in about 1910 or so came a uh, the American Jewish Congress, one of those organizations, and the ACP, because they both were uh, subjected to police, br uh, police brutality. So this, this idea that it began in the 1960s is a misconception. Anyway, um, your dad was a lieutenant uh, colonel in the United States. Uh, the book, th this book about the Jewish uh, Black Alliance and the police brutality, there's a book called Street Justice, about the history of the New York Police Department. Pretty bad book, anyway. Um, your dad was a lieutenant colonel in the United States Army Reserves, and later was Lieutenant Colonel in the United States uh, uh, Reserves, and later he worked for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. As a civilian. Yeah, now, when that, the reunion occurred recently, of uh, people who participated in the Columbia strike, a black woman named Michelle Patrick, is that her yes. name? Okay. Yes. She said that uh, the white students were in rebellion against their parents. Does that, does that describe your... Uh, this is like a cliche question. I mean, does that describe your uh, attitudes about your parents' rebellion? I, I think it is accurate mm -hmm. in, in a kind of a social sense. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to be my parents. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to. What's wrong with being your parents? I didn't want to go into business. Oh, that's, that's I didn't want. I, I wanted something that was was um, uh, what you might call more high-minded or mm -hmm. more social mm -hmm. or or maybe even more intellectual. Mm -hmm. From a very early age, I didn't. My family was a small business family. Mm -hmm. What business was this? Well, my, my grandmother ran a candy store, mm -hmm. you know, selling newspapers and Cokes and ice cream mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in Newark, uh, in, in what became the, uh, the West Ward, mm -hmm. or what was the West Ward, an Italian and Jewish and Irish neighborhood that, that became black, it's central Newark. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, my, my grandmother on the other side ran a, uh, a little uh, um, uh, women's dress shop in Elizabeth, New Jersey. And my father eventually went into the business, um, real estate business, but um, I, I didn't want business. I wanted, I wanted to be a professor. Or I wanted to be something that, 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 that was uh, intellectual. And then later, I, 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 I didn't want to maintain the status quo. But then, so but then later you become very critical about the professors at Columbia, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. But no, um, um, but, but in, ter in personal terms, I don't think I was rebelling against mm -hmm. them. It was more like a social milieu. I want to get out of the suburbs. Mm -hmm. uh, you were sent to a psychiatrist named, we talked about Dr. Liebert. Yes, yes. And, uh, boy, this is funny. He said that uh, your character development had been distorted by your domineering Jewish mother and your distracted, absent father. And uh, your mother asked him whether you were gay. Mm -mm. Okay. Not, she I'm, asked, I'm, is he a homo? Is he? Okay. <laughs>